Hey everybody, <clears throat> with some coffee. A little, uh, I got sick all of a sudden, and I just got, I just got well after being sick for like a month, and then I got, uh, my throat started hurting, my nose clogged up, it was a great story, and uh, it lasted for two days, and now I'm starting to feel better already. It's like one of those one-two punches. Uh, and I think that, as I don't normally get sick a lot, but uh, I, uh, I deal with uh, just an epic flow of humanity, and uh, for my face, it, we're filthy. I was, uh, Irma was in my van, she's like looking around at how dirty it is, and she says, uh, boy, it's been a long time since you've cleaned out your van, and I'm like, well, I've never cleaned my van. Things gotta get to a certain, you know, dirtiness, and then it plateaus. And, uh, like, for instance, this hat, this hat was, like, filthy. It had mud all over it because Aquila likes to walk on it the second I put it down on the ground. And it had dog hair all over it. And it was out yesterday, and it got dumped on, just pouring down rain. And I, I noticed it today. It looks so clean. <laughs> uh, uh, work update. Um, I talked to a couple different people at my work, and uh, they responded positive, positively. And my immediate schedule uh, has been changed to five days on, two days off. Um, and I think, you know, what have I learned from this? Uh, I think that you have to speak up. Uh, and you have to speak up uh, uh, politely, professionally, intelligently. Um, you know, I was, I was going through the employee handbook. Um, I wasn't saying what I wanted. I was looking at what they offered. Um, and even when what they offered was, you know, worded a little bit differently, uh, I was saying, well, I think, I mean, it seems to me that this is written down um, as, not only is it written down to be so that, like, we exactly know what we want, but there is a spirit of an idea that something's offered, a work week. Um, and there's ways around that, but I suggest to you that ways around those things are, uh, are harmful. So... So every time, uh, I'm going to have to always speak up. I don't think it's one of these situations where, you know, they just know how Earl feels, and so they're going to uh, do that from now on. I think that every time there's a change, I'm going to have to talk to people, and uh, hopefully that'll go well. I did get written up uh, for calling in sick late, um, and if that happens uh, two more times or if something... Uh, um, pretty impactful happens two more times I'll get a three day suspension oh I don't think uh, I don't think that there's much danger of that um, you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on my guard I don't want to jeopardize my job or appear to be a poor employee um, so but you know sometimes things happen oh uh Oh, the show and tell. Whoa. So I think that, uh, you know, when they say uh, a real man should, <laughs> like, chop his own wood or something like that, I think uh, being able to produce light is really important. Uh, um, uh, you know, I have a lot of friends, actually, that carry a flashlight on them as just standard. Always have a flashlight. Um, I tend to have uh, these headlamps. I have a whole bunch of them. I don't have a whole bunch of ones like this. I'll show it to you. Look at that cable. Look how thick that cable is. Look how well that uh, is attached. Look how well that's attached there. Attached here. Um, so this... Uh, uh, black diamond. It's uh, it's really expensive. I mean, really expensive. Um, and so I go to uh, like Home Depot uh, um, or uh, an inexpensive department store and grab one of their like their nine dollar or twelve dollar uh, headlamps. Um, and this one, I think it was like eighty dollars. I really do. Um, so those uh, those inexpensive lights are really bright too. They really do a great job. Um, and I was wearing one uh, not too long ago, and uh, I was wearing it over a hat. And as I was going through some uh, some tree limbs, uh, one of the tree limbs hit my light, 
and uh, it just just broke. Just I, I did I barely hit it hard too. Um, there are this little hinge, like the light angles, and that hinge just snapped right off quite easily. Um, so it instantly became useless. So the reason why I spent so much money on that black diamond one is because it's uh, it's heavy, it's hard, it's uh, the cables are, are thick, and the housing is uh, is heavy, and uh, there aren't any uh, uh, any weak points really. I mean, it can't take too much of a beating, but uh, it can take a few hits, take more than a light tap of the tree branch. Uh, tree branch. So what is, oh, where are we in Veda, Veda 5? What, uh, what an interesting thing to vlog every day. Uh, Drew the Viking guy, he vlogged every day uh, for Veda and then he just kept it up. Um, I don't know if he made it a whole year. Um, I bet he did. Every time I went to his page there was a new video up. Um, so that's, that's pretty inspiring. I don't think that uh, um, I could do that kind of thing. I mean, it'd be nice to it'd be nice to up my game, I guess. Um, it would be a deeper uh, record of what happens to me and what I'm thinking at the moment and uh, what I'm going through. And I could always look back, um, which is a real pleasure, and see how long it's been since I've been to such and such area. Or, um, you know, it's it's an excellent way to remind myself and also keep track of timeline. I don't keep track of timeline very well. Ah. Uh, Oh, look at this. Uh, I don't know if I've showed you this before. It's trash. So, uh, when I come out here and it's pouring down rain, uh, you could pick up that uh, plastic sign and flick it and then lay it down on the ground and sit down on it and you'll get just a little bit damp rather than wet. Um, so, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't pick it up. I leave it here. Um, it's... I mean, that's the, the thing about utilizing trash in the wild. Um, it, it has its place. But, uh, you know, I could work it out. <laughs> I've actually sat in soaking wet ground. I don't need that sign, but it's pretty, it's kind of convenient. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me for coffee. Let's do a spin. All right, and I'll see you every day.